I'm going to be talking about six ways you can save money in your 20s. Cutting your codes according to your size. You really need to start doing that in your 20s. Not even everyone should say, but well, I will do everything to save my money because money is not easy to come by. Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time stopping by seeing my face, please don't make it a last by subscribing. And if it is not, hello, thank you for always coming back. I'm going to be talking about six ways you can save money in your 20s. Number one on my list will be setting savings goals and keeping track. So how do you do that? It's by studying your income, knowing the amount of money you make daily, weekly, monthly, and setting a saving target that is actually realistic. I mean, you can be earning um, 30k per month and then say you want to save all of it 30k. What are you going to be eating? So basically, out of the 30k, you want to try save, okay, 10,000 naira monthly, 5,000 naira monthly, you have to like gauge yourself, know what you can do, so you won't set a goal, a saving goal that is not realistic, that you know you cannot keep up with. That way you will get discouraged and probably stop along the line. So it is best to do something you are capable of. You are making 50,000 naira per month. Out of 50,000 naira, how much can you save? Okay, I can save 5,000 naira monthly. There are various ways you can save. That saving with your friends, saving with your family. But the one I would recommend, number one I would recommend is using applications like Piggyvest or Carry Rise. That way you that way you know your money is saved and you can even make it automated. Okay, I want to save 500 naira daily. Piggyvest, remove 500 naira daily from my account. I want to save 2,000 naira weekly. You can automate it in a way that they will deduct the money the time you want them to deduct it. You want them to deduct 2,000 naira weekly. They will deduct it weekly if you know you are not disciplined enough to um to um save it yourself you can make it automated and this gets interesting because you can't even withdraw your money anytime you want because if you do for for picky best if you do they will remove a certain percentage if you withdraw your money when it is not your due date for example if your due date is march 31st and you want to withdraw it march 1 they will remove a certain percentage but there are some apps like how rise even if you're on your sick bed you can't get your money out until the day you have decided you want to withdraw your money but the carry rise can be very very you know tricky and dangerous what if i am sick and that is all of the money i have i would like to get it out but with piggy best on the other hand you can get your money out before the due date the only difference is they will remove a certain amount of money out of it your full payment but if you don't deduct your money or if you don't withdraw your money until you do it you are going to collect your complete money even with interest so that sounds quite easy if you've not started saving money you really need to start doing that in your 20s not if everyone should save everyone should save as long as you have money coming in you should save for emergency, you should save for, for dry days, since they are rainy days, they are dry, dry days. Save, it is really, really important to save. I can't overemphasize on that. It is easier when you set certain goals for yourself. I want to do 10,000 naira weekly, I want to do 10,000 naira monthly. At the end of the year, I want to have 500,000 naira in my account. I, have, I want to have 5 million naira in my account. Like that. Like that. And second on my list will bring me to cutting your codes according to your size. Don't do more than yourself, my dear brothers and sisters. Your friend wants you to go out, to go to the restaurant every week. You know you are not capable. You know your pocket can only go once in a month. Tell them straight up, oh, I'm sorry, I won't be. If you don't want to seem like I'm too broke, you can come up with excuses but i don't if you have friends that you can tell you don't have enough money to do that why are you keeping such friends why are you even friends in the first place so if you have people that want to be going out every other day and you know you, you cannot afford that you know it is not sustainable for you then speak up cut your code according to say oh i'm so sorry babes i can only do once in a month if that does not work for you fine Go with someone else but for me okay your friends are wearing they don't want to do lagos market again they want to be doing river island zara and you know your money is a cool market bag stick to that what did i say stick 
to that. Nobody's going to attack you for putting your coat to your side. Even for me, uh, fashion is even how you carry yourself. It is not by how expensive what you are wearing is. I could literally be wearing thrift from air to toe and you wouldn't even know because of the way I have decided to style it, the way I have decided to carry myself. So I'm just giving like an example of cutting your coat according to your size. You want to live in Deki, you know your money can only get safe corner apartment but no you want to get full room and parlor knowing that by the end of the year even if you save that means all your money is going back into your apartment you would not even have any extra money again cut your coat according to your size don't do more than yourself life is life is by stages life is step by step which makes me remember this token marking while um podcast I was listening to one time and then she was talking about how how girls now don't want to be teens teens they don't want to leave they don't want to climb the step they want to go from here to Beckenbach you don't want to do Zara you don't want to do Chin you want to start wearing Bottega at the age of 19 18 there's nothing wrong in that if you can afford it if your parents can afford it but you know they start doing all kind of crazy things just so they can be at that level and I remember her saying her first ever designer item was a Ted Baker belt. And then she was making sure everyone sees it. That was when she was around maybe 20 something or even 30 something. Before then, she was carrying, in fact, shift bags, regular items. But now, girls of this generation, Gen Z, <laughs> want to start having um, Gucci belt, Gucci, want to start. Want to start using designer items right even before they leave the university, before they even get any source of, before they even start working at all. Like their eyes are already on expensive items, people in their thirties, forties, and those people when they are at your age, they are still struggling to maybe finish university, maybe trying to get a new job. Or you are there, jobless, and you want to have their kind of lifestyle. I don't even hear what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, you will tell me that is the word. That means you will get you get disgraced or you get embarrassed or you just for yourself. And at the end of the day, because for example, even if you are lucky to get someone that you know starts the lifestyle for you, what if something happened on the way? I can't even keep up. So you go. Let's not even go there. In essence, just cut your coat according to your size. Number three, I would say is to cut down. On eating out I used to be so so guilty of this I would order breakfast lunch dinner online every single day I'm just grateful that God have dragged me out of that hole but if that is you you need to learn how to cut down on eating out like you might if you track your if you track your expensive you'll be surprised food is what is taking all of your money if you cannot cook every day you can just meal prep that is what i've started you know doing gradually you prepare as much food maybe when you are when you feel you have so much strength to cook you can cook different kind of dishes that you can serve in portions keep them refrigerated whenever you want to eat you take one out microwave it you eat your food you will be surprised but you'll be surprised at how much you are going to be saving and how much money you will realize you have been spending on food and if you think you don't see yourself cooking like that there are people that do all this bulk um, cooking thing or you can simply hire a chef to do that for you i'm going straight i'm just letting you know that if you want to save money in your 20s if you want to save money generally eating out is not going to help in any way you're going to finish on your money on food. So it's better you just find something that works for you, that won't take all your money. But if you want to spend your money on food, who am I to stop you? If you want to save, then you need to cut down on how you eat out. I will imagine going to a good restaurant three times a week. Even twice a week. That's going to be eight times in a month. An average of 15k, 20k, 30k. It's do the maths. Just do the maths. So if you want to save money, you need to cut down on how much of money you spend eating out. <laughs> Number four, if you like call me cheap, always buy on sales and discounts. Whenever I want to shop for anything, guys, just just know I just know I've gotten if I get something, just know I've made research and that was the cheapest option I can possibly get. 
it's just when I want to shop on websites like PLT, Sheen's, I shop at sales. If there's a brand I like that I've been checking out on Instagram, I follow them and wait till they are actually on sales. When they are on sales, I get everything I want to, but call me cheap, call me whatever. But that is that way I'm able to save so much money. I mean, there was this dress I wanted to get one time, it was like 15k when it was on sales. Guess the amount they sold it 6,000 naira. How much have I saved? I saved about 9k. There's, there was this other one, yes, 15k again. I bought it for 7,000 naira. So if you plan on, if you, if you want to save money like me, always look out for discounts. Always look out for sales. <laughs> don't be, don't be too, don't act on impulse. Except it is like really urgent. There are times that you need some. I mean, I got a shoe. I was, I needed the shoe urgent. Like I was so ready to pay any amount to get the shoe because then I, I did not have a black shoe and I had an event. So I just didn't think of it twice. If I did it urgently, <laughs> trust me, I would find the cheapest plug I can possibly get for that for that item, or wait till it's on sales, or they have like a discount code I can possibly use. I'll just keep waiting till I can get it for a cheaper price. Just just me, you can call me whatever you want to call me. But I will do everything to save my money because money is not easy to come by. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to adopt the system of mine, I promise you, you won't regret it because you'll be saving so much money. You might even end up getting two high terms at an amount you'll pay for one. So if you are looking to save money, always shop at discount of sales. Look for the cheapest, cheapest option possible because <laughs> number five on my list is to get thrifted items get second and items i don't really see anything anything bad in that i mean if you don't follow me on instagram you can follow me on instagram i share pages you can get thrifted items at really really affordable prices maybe because of the way i was brought up though I know how to thrift in and out. Oh, Krika, let me even call it you. When it comes to clothing items, I know how to thrift. Like, I know how to source for good items. Now, I don't even have as much time to go to the market. I just simply get them online. But I make sure to check for the most affordable plugs. Because sometimes, you see thrift of 30,000 euro, and you'll be wondering, even from the website, and the thrift is not thrifting. So, I still make sure to get the bells best deals ever at so that not only clothing items my console i'm looking at right now it's drifted um it's drifted even as at when i moved from my previous apartment i sold some some of my items i drifted with someone got it for better deal and when it comes to furniture you know the way it is now things are so expensive this console i got for fifty thousand naira if i had wanted to like make it from a carpenter it will probably cost me like 80k or 90 even no more than that and i got to 50k and now it's in mind that when i want to sell it i'll probably sell it around that price as well and it was brand new the person was traveling from the country and then she was selling all of her items that was how i grabbed it so it is if you want to so for example you want to get furniture if you want to save money you can go to the clutter pages you will see different kind of furniture there they are they sell all kind of appliances electrical appliances acs everything i would not advise you to get like acs refrigerator declutter because at the end of the day you might it might be faulty and then you wouldn't know when you get it you end up spending more than that you have added to get a new one but when it comes to the items like furniture clothes shoes um bags what else can i treat what else do i treat mirrors just things that that can possibly be packaged for you while they are spoiled since you can see and examine yourself because even before you pay for it most of the vendors will ask you to go there to check it yourself be sure it is in perfect condition before they pay the the seller so if you are looking to cut down on um, cut down costs if you are looking to save more money then you can always go for second hand pieces for thrifted pieces it has never injured any money anyway okay yes and last on my list is to always create a budget don't just move like you are some 
on more than go to or more ten dollar that even when you finish spending your money another one will call you know that is not going to happen so it's best you budget yourself so you won't be left stranded your okay, salary is eighty thousand naira. how much do you want to spend on food stuff how much do you want to spend on body maintenance how much do you want to spend on clothing are you buying clothes this month okay i'm not buying clothes this month i think i'm budgeting this too for my traveling so so time this is for my internet this is it is so important to budget with the way money fly if you don't even create budget you just close your eyes and open your eyes your money has vanished so you have to create a budget and stick to it so you won't be spending more than you should when you budget yourself it will save you so much as of not knowing what you are doing first of all secondly it will help you know how you are spending your money so if you are going to the market you know okay today i'm going to buy this this and that if you've created your budget you are going with twenty thousand naira. on no account should you exceed that except it's something that you forgot to hard out just stick when you stick to your budget it will help you a lot but if you don't have a budget, just go there. <coughs> Let me just go and buy. You see this? Since you don't even need, you end up buying it. I mean, I used to be like that as well. I just, sometimes I don't have intention of even buying anything. I'll just go to the market. Just keep buying whatever I see, whatever I like. But now, if I leave the house, I know everything I want to buy and get. And sometimes I can leave room for miscellaneous. Okay, this 5k extra. I will use to get whatever is not on this list that I actually like. And that will make you prepared you will be you are you would have planned yourself before you leave the house i'm going to restaurant my friend this house and i'm going my budget is stinky i'm not exiting it when you get there you know your money cannot buy food you stick to drinks strict to snacks or something you know you can afford that is within your budget if you don't do that you just keep lavishing 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 by the end of the day you have nothing so it's really 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 important to budget your money if you want to save more money i really hope you guys have found everything i've mentioned so far helpful which i believe you must have if you did please leave a comment and give this video a big thumbs up and also share with your friends so they can benefit from this video as well in one way or the other and i'll be seeing you again in my next video by god's grace bye see you next time